Uh, Eric, it's uh, pretty cool to be up here with all these professional triathletes. Uh, you know, you're a professional baseball player, and Eric actually lives here in Tahoe, so he's been on the bike course. So I'm going to let you, Eric, explain a little bit about a bike, the bike course to all these people who have not raced it before and give them some idea of what to expect on Sunday. Well, first of all, I'm very uncomfortable up here, um, <laughs> but I will take each and every one of you guys on if you give me two hours. <laughs> I think that's appropriate. <laughs> Two. Um, so hey, I, I, look, I played professional baseball for 11 years. I had an absolute blast, was so fortunate. When I got done playing, it was kind of like, what's next in my life? And I was surfing every day, I was golfing. I grew up in the Half Moon Bay area. That's where I live now. And I split my time between uh, Truckee here and, and down in Half Moon Bay. And I ran into three friends of mine that were going to do a sprint triathlon, Pacific Grove. Uh, where they have this uh, this thing called the kelp crawl is, is the swim. And immediately I'm like, oh, I'm in. And I, it was just something I always wanted to try. I, I watched uh, Kona when I was a kid. I remember sitting there on the couch and with my dad and watching Julie Moss and the, the infamous, infamous meltdown at the finish line. And I always thought to myself, what would it take to push the body to the limit? And I always knew that I wanted to do that. But when you're playing baseball, it's no chance, right? Uh, it's just <laughs> completely counterproductive and the two sports could not be any different um and so i'd like look i'll go try this sprint triathlon and i went down there just showed up with my surfing wetsuit five millimeters thick i uh, did not know how to swim freestyle um literally almost drowned in the water thought i was going to die i uh, ended up getting on my bike which which was a beach cruiser and i, I wasn't like i was bringing being, bringing the beach cruiser to be cool it was just like it was my only bike and then when I got to the race, I realized, okay, like some, something's going on here. Like this, I realized how serious it was. So my three friends, two of them girls, uh, completely demolished me in, in this race. But I, I had a blast and really enjoyed it. And uh, I told them, and they knew me from when I was growing up. I said, look, this is the last time you guys will ever beat me. 11 months later, I did my first Ironman and just completely dove into it. Uh, since then, in under two years, this will now be my fourth. So. I yeah, just completely got bit by the bug, love it. As far as the bike course and everything up here, uh, it's, just, uh, it's gonna be a very tough race, I think very slow race, uh, but it is going to, be, going to be one of the most beautiful uh, beautiful Ironmans and just so happy to, uh, to be a part of it and be part of the Team Ironman Foundation, which uh, yesterday all of us were out there uh, picking up trash for the uh, Keep Tahoe Blue. Uh, great team unity and I think that's the greatest thing about triathlon like just all of you guys and, and the attitude that and it starts with the pros and, and you guys should get a lot of credit for that but it's just such an awesome community and uh, thankful to be a part of it. Well great glad to have you here and uh, pros you can help him out afterward and help him uh, maybe get a little faster I think two hours is too much I think about an hour you know so